Hey guys, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. This is Vlogmas 7. Vlogmas Day 7. Okay, so today basically I'll just be cooking. I'm going back to Shalom TV, guys. Good morning. I know I'm so excited. Yesterday, this is how it ended. Even though I, did, I was too tired to do an outro. So yesterday, um, I got back so, so very late, my dear. So I go back late and I'm like, oh god, I just need to upload it because I was just so tired and everything. Like, oh, let me see, because the next day I was having a module like exam, like what I mean. I was having exam, final exam for my um for one of my subjects. So I was like, hmm, okay, so what I just thought to do was like okay, let me just boost it. So that day will not pass me by without me posting so i can just um today i would not be going out so i'm so tired like sure last week i was out for you guys today let me rest so today we'll be doing something like we'll be cooking yeah and i'll be cooking spaghetti she loves spaghetti and guys there was something that happened when i went to get um to grocery to get spaghetti see what happened here I thought I was, I, I, I don't normally like those tiny, tiny ones, but anyways, maybe that was the look because I I saw this big spaghetti in my eyes, I was like, ah, thank god, my spaghetti is here, the fat, fat ones, you know, they are tiny ones, they are tiny ones I don't like, ah, fat, fat ones, and I'm like, really, like, okay, I carried the fat ones, I didn't know how the tiny one managed to enter, so it entered and yeah so that's what i'm going to be cooking i'm going to be using the tiny spaghetti i'm going to be doing experiment on the tiny spaghetti today so um yeah basically we'll be cooking we'll just be cooking today and i'll i'll really need to rest i need time to rest you know i'm going out today guys Actually thinking of making spaghetti stir fry. Then I remember that I already have the recipe. So guys, go check that out. So today I'm um, making um jollof spaghetti with. You know I don't have I didn't go out so um I will just be like using the ingredients that I have. It's always going to be nice. So. You don't have to go out of your way all the time. Uh, I need to cool, cool. Just make do what you have at home. Of course, you know, you have basic, some basic things like puree, some kind of tomatoes, you know. And I just remember I, I don't have um, mix, pepper mix. Sometimes I get, sometimes I blend myself and it's not complete. So, guys, just watch and see what I'm going to be doing. Just it's not much again it's very small and still i'll be cooking wearing spaghetti where is it so i was talking about like it is so tiny like these tiny ones i don't i don't always like it but today i'm going to make it look nice and i'm going to help myself like the spaghetti because of the outcome this one i'm going to make him out i hope it comes out well though anyways yeah so now I just what I'll be doing is to like bring out my ingredients and let's start cooking guys. Wow, I don't know what time is going. I need to rest. This fridge is so hard to open at times. Okay, so uh-huh, this is my chicken. Thank god I didn't put this one in the freezer. Because when I put it in the freezer, I'm going to wait I'm going to waste so much time. So thank god this one was not even in the freezer. So thank god this one was just in the fridge. It's a beautiful thing to know. Check out that freezer. Because I don't want to go and start the frozen, the frozen, the frozen, the frozen, the frozen. I don't want to go again. Okay. Yeah, this is what it looks like. My fridge is already overflowing. When I mean overflowing, it's like literally falling now. I had to remove the this of this one like I need uh, it's, it's already falling now and I think I need to do some work here maybe you know open the freezer the, 
um, let all those things like go. I've not been having time, so I'll do that now to get my bell pepper mix. It's gonna be a struggle, guys. Yeah, so basically, yeah, this should be a ten gourd. I mean, yeah, this is it. This is it. So, what I would do now is just cut it from here. Instead of removing, ah, I'm going to cry. I just cut it and take some out of it for my spaghetti, guys. Okay, so let's, let's, let's get to work. Let's get to work. I feel I'm just mischievous. Look at what I did. What the hell is this? Like, who does this? I mean, I meant to cut it from up here. Like, my man was even there. And then, oh, I did. Oh, I think I have some left. From the former one, I, I didn't even finish it. I guess it should be this one. Oh, thank you, Lord. This is so nice. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this should be enough. I beg, it should be because I can't stress myself. Oh, it's fine. Like, this should be okay. Anyways, like, I'm not cooking a party spaghetti. I'm just showing you guys. going to be putting water i'm stirring it it's just a second method of marinating so that's what i'm doing basically i'm marinating the chicken on fire that's a faster way because i can't wait the other way is to just put the ingredient and then put it in the fan and keep it for like an hour or more than an hour I really don't like putting excess water in my chicken. I feel like the it's gonna, you know, the taste is not going to be there. I prefer cooking with little water so it can like stick together. The um, this thing, the meat stock can stick together with the chicken. Even if I fry it, it's still on the chicken. So that's what I do. From different method though, as time goes on, I will be showing you other ways to prepare your chicken my chicken is ready so what i'm talking about guys um it's already like cooked my chicken and you see the meat stock like i told you see how thick it is and it's sticking together with the chicken so if i fry it now the taste is going to be there like so um just for for you to know another method of preparing chicken I'm going to put um, how to make Nigerian stew in my description box just for another method on how to you know prepare chicken in another way just for another just another method for you to know how to prepare chicken um, in different ways okay um, I have a video of um, how to make Nigerian stew so um i'm going to put it in my description box below watch it and you know how i prepared that's the first method how i prepared my chicken so now this is the second method it's not it's not so much
when it dries, start cooking. First thing first, guys, make sure you've already boiled your spags, not like boil it fully. At least it should be 50% um, cooked. more than enough don't make sure you don't overdo you know uh, garlic and onion okay. so you know, make sure you reduce you reduce the fire to the lowest guys so you won't boil now so after frying the onion you don't want to wait for it to become brown before you start putting your puree so now i'll put it in my puree i'll just put in about should i say two and a half tablespoon is enough Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be stirring it now. Like I've said, and I've, I'll always say, for you to know that your tomato is fried, your puree is, should get it's going to be separated. When your puree is separated into crumbs, you know that uh, okay, it's fried. So guys, if you notice, take a close look, closer look. You notice that um, they are kind of separated. So, so it's kind of separated. The next thing is the um, pepper mix. We have very little pepper mix, it's not enough. I'm using ketchup for the substitute. Trust me, guys. You will not just <laughs> you will not just like it, but you will love it. Just try it and let me know. I mean, it does not. Next, we will be adding our meat stock. The fire, and then this is my garlic. I'll be using um a teaspoon of my garlic. I'll be using a teaspoon of my ginger. I'll be using um two teaspoons of curry, and I'll be using um I'll be using three teaspoons of pepper. Yeah, so red pepper it depends on how well you can tolerate um pepper the meat stock already contains enough seasoning so what i'll do now is to be adding just te two teaspoons of um chicken seasoning so huh, this is it i think one and a half is already in there so i'll just be adding the remaining half in and i'll stir it together Combine perfectly well. What I'm going to be doing. So now, it's, I guess it's time to add um water. So I'll be needing water. Now I'll just be adding uh, a bowl of water, a very small bowl, not big, a very small bowl. I need a bowl of water. 
and then I'll stir it together. Almost like stew. So, so this was I was aiming at. So if the texture of yours is like this, then your spaghetti is worthy to be called jello spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, so next. I'll just you know I'll just cover it for like um two minutes for it to boil up. Well. inside the um, stew so I'll just be stirring it together when I'm doing the UK stirring it like this mm. at this point after stirring I'm not going to be adding water anymore. I'm just going to let the steam cook it. And so yeah, this is how I'm going to let the steam cook it. I'm going to be using a fork I remember I'm going to be using the dog packs to cover it. So I'm going to cover it and lower the your heat to uh, allow the steam cook it. I'm going to add in more water. I'm waiting for um my food to get ready i will be doing the dishes i don't have much work it is ready and i'm going to be finishing it with these the mixed bell peppers This is awesome. This is just so nice. Like, this is simply the best. Shazz's choppers all the way. Actually, guys, this was so so nice. Like, thank God. Just try out this recipe and come and thank me later. Here I am complaining. Oh no, I don't like the tiny spaghetti. This is amazing. You won't even feel the you won't feel the difference at all. Just try out this recipe and let me <sighs> Yeah, I just had my bath. Today has just been a day. Should I say a day? Okay, basically what I did today. I had class this morning, like I told you guys this morning it was an exam. Thank God. Oh, hope that we took that. And then I couldn't go out today because I was tired and this correct. Um and basically I'll just you know do what I have to do for today and sleep. I guess I'm going to sleep a lot. What's the time now? So I think okay, this is just after four. So I think okay. It was actually so nice, top notch. That's not, you know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> say thank you. Like, you guys are just so wonderful. You guys are just like from day one to now. You guys still follow. You guys still watch. You guys still, you know, you guys still show me love. And you know, I love you guys too. And um, Shalom TV is just, you know, it's just happy to have you as part of the family. 
and if you are a new subscriber <laughs> thank you so much you know ah, thank you so much i'm so grateful we are happy to have you as part of our family so right, see you in um see you tomorrow anyway see you tomorrow in day eight that's vlogmas day eight we are going somewhere we're moving bye guys